सो हाय एवरीवन टुडे वी डिस्कसिंग व्हाट अ सर्टेन इमेज प्री प्रोसेसिंग स्टेप्स दैट इंक्लूड चेंजिंग द ब्राइटनेस चेंजिंग द कंट्रास्ट चेंजिंग शार्पनेस ऑफ द इमेज बाय राइजिंग द इमेज एंड देयर रिस्पेक्टिव कोड ऑन हाउ टू चेंज दीस एट्रीब्यूट्स ऑफ एन इमेज इन पाइथन यूजिंग द ओपन सीवी लाइब्रेरी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so first of all we will try to understand the code for changing the brightness of an image so using cv uh, we will be first importing the cv2 library that is open cv library uh, path is basically the image to which we wish to change the brightness and beta is the factor by which we wish to change the brightness here you can see beta is in range of 0 to 100 and the tested beta values that we are going is 10 20 30 for uh, till 100 right so in at intervals of 10 so using cv2 dot uh, convert scale abs we can convert the brightness of an image change the brightness of an image now coming to contrast of changing the contrast of the image uh, similar to brightness the contrast of the image can also be changed using the same function that is cv2 dot convert scale abs uh, but in if you remember in case of brightness you are using a uh, hyper parameter beta in case of contrast we are, we are using a parameter called as alpha now alpha the value of alpha can range from 0 to 3 right uh and values uh, and like you can test out values like 0.3 0.6 0.9 till 3 so using this particular code snippet you can change the contrast of an image median filter median filter is basically used to remove salt and paper noise so you would might you might at times see uh dotted error uh, dotted noise present in your images right so to remove that um, uh, uh noise elements we can use a median filter so median filter can be uh, changed using Yeah, median filter can be applied on an image using cv2 dot median blur function, which in takes in the image alongside the kernel size. Now the kernel size can be odd numbered like one cross one, three cross three, five cross five, which gets convoluted over the image to remove salt and paper noise. Now talking about the sharpness of the image, uh, similar to uh, med uh, median filter, sharpness can also be increased by applying a filter over the image and convoluting it over the image. So The filter that we would be applying is minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, center minus one, minus one, minus one, minus. You can see that there is a three cross three uh, filter kernel that we are going to apply. Now, in the value that is in the center called as center, uh, can take values from uh, one to ten. Where higher the value for center, more sharp the image becomes. So, using the cv two dot filter two D function, we can up, uh, we can increase the sharpness of an image using Python. Also, binarization. So, also binarization basically is a technique of binarizing your image. So, uh, either zero uh, or one. So, in that case, that can be done using set using cv2 dot threshold function, uh, where you're telling uh, where you're passing an argument as image, the parameter, the parameter uh, that is a, a lower value, two fifty five is the highest value because we are doing a binarization. So, you need to provide the lower threshold and the higher threshold. So that once if the parameter goes below the threshold, it goes to the param value, else it goes to two fifty five, comma the two values that we are considering that is thresh, uh, cv two dot thresh underscore binary plus cv two dot thresh utsu. So using this, you can uh, utsu binarize your image as well. Now histogram equalization, it is also used for adjusting the contrast, so it does not require any sort of parameters. So it can be directly implemented using cv two dot equalize hist function. grayscaling grayscaling is basically converting your colorful rgb image into a single channel image so that is very easy so while reading using cv2 you can use the function uh, you can use the parameter 0 cv2 dot i am read image path comma 0 this will help you to read just the first channel of the image and that is the grayscale version of the image